Um, when you're talking two weeks before, um, the idea is the idea is the same, right? You want to be reducing the volume for your team, but just reviewing things, staying sharp, and you're really just workshopping very specific parts of the things that you are trying to do well. Okay, what you want to avoid is introducing new things that you've never talked about uh, at the end of the season. If you're introducing a new thing, you don't want to be it. You don't want that thing to be like the bedrock of what you're about to do, right? Like hopefully you've introduced all the big, big chunks. If you're gonna introduce a new thing, it's for the sake of just keeping people fresh. So for, for example, um, you know, sometimes we'll do something new at, at a practice at the end of the year just to get people out of, to snap people out of the idea of like, you don't want them in the groove, you wanna just sort of keep their brains on fire. So if you're gonna do something, don't have it be like a total groundbreaking new thing that you're gonna focus on during the tournament. You know, I've introduced like fun versions of scrimmage or things that are like explicitly fun um, with my youth teams. Sometimes we'll even do that at a Sakai training just to sort of break the ice. We'll like do a scrimmage where we'll mix up teams you know, a couple weeks before um, the tournament just to like have it feeling fun and fresh and reconnect connect with your teammates. We won't do it for long, but just something to sort of mix it up and sort of hit the reset button can be a really good idea.